Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, did some updates. Uh, still working with the updates. Uh, I know it's been uh, been a few months, uh, but based on some emails I got from some of you uh, who were uh, who watched my uh, last supply chain video, which I think you guys seem to like, um, and thank you very much for being a subscriber and watching. Uh, have asked me to uh, to go into some other things besides just supply chain news, and here we go. And for those of you who are around, you'll know that uh, we've updated the uh, I've updated the channel uh, page to include the uh, the news of the super yachts. And I'm sure there's other channels that are uh, uh, doing it. But um, latest news on we'll get to the super yachts. Latest news on that is, and this is coming from Yahoo. Um, $325 million super yacht linked to a sanctioned Russian oligarch is on an epic journey uh, west across the Pacific Ocean. Um, this is uh, the Amadea. Uh, it's a $325 million, 350-foot uh, yacht heading to Fiji from Mexico, according to tracking data. Uh, it was uh, the $325 million was sanctioned is linked to a sanctioned Russian oligarch, um, and his name is, and I'm probably going to mess this name up, but uh, his name is Suleiman Karamov, and it's heading from the Fijian port of Nadi, and transversing, it's uh, after transversing the Panama Canal and docking at the Mexican port of Manzillo, and I probably butchered that too, uh, and that's according to marine traffic. Karamov is thought to be uh, Russia's richest ninth richest person, and his wealth is, uh, according to Forbes, is $14.5 billion. He's been sanctioned by the uh, uh, U.S., EU, and U.K. over alleged money laundering, and his ties to Russian Vladimir Putin, because of his ties to Russian uh, President Vladimir Putin. The Amadeus journey puts it closer to uh, Vladivostok, uh, on Russia's east coast, uh, which is the closest um, port, major port in Russia, uh, they uh, apparently they tried to contact um, um, Karamov, and he couldn't be reached for comment. So it's no surprise. And some of the features of this particular super yacht, it, it has a dedicated party deck with a spa pool flanked by sunbeds that can be converted into a stage where bands. And DJs can plug straight into the ship's audio systems, and that was according to Boat International. The yacht was delivered in 2017 by Lurson, as everybody knows. That's the maker of uh, most of these super yachts, not all of them. Um, Western sanctions have prompt seizures of most of these super yachts, private jets, and mansions, linked to uh, some of the richest people that are um, friends of uh, President Putin. Karamov owns, uh, owes much of his wealth to a 76% stake in Russia's biggest gold producer, Polyus, according to Bloomberg. And Wednesday, it was reported, uh, last Wednesday, that uh, Karamov's family holdings in the company were reduced to 46% uh, of stake in this Polyus company. Amade is valued at $325 million, according to uh, super yacht fans. And the other piece of interesting news um, in addition to and we talked about talked about the private jets uh, the, the a lot of these oligarchs are flying are putting their private jets in refuge in Dubai but according to the Wall Street Journal uh, they they get there and they're basically they can't leave because um, um, they're just they're, they're not able to leave. And I'm waiting for it to load. Um, the uh, so that they they I guess they figure they're safe over there, but sanctions have effectively grounded the planes. There we go. Um, uh, dozens of private jets are sitting at the tarmac uh, at the terminal in the desert, part of a buildup of more than a hundred planes at the airport. Uh, from the based on the invasion from Russia, and of course you have to be a subscriber for the rest of the story. But so the 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 point is is that even even now the the billionaires are flying their the Russian oligarch billionaires are flying their planes over to over to Dubai, and they're getting stuck there too. So they're running out of places to hide uh, other than going back to Russia. So that's the the latest news 
on um, on uh, the uh, the super yachts uh, at the moment, and that's uh, that was news as of today. So uh, more to come, uh, lots more on the uh, the super yachts. Uh, there'll be stuff coming for the um, for logistics and supply chain news coming soon. And um, hopefully you guys, uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Send me an email if you guys have pictures or photos or news on any of the super yachts. Um, send them to the the uh, email link in the description, and uh, I won't uh, use your name or uh, mention who or where you're coming from. Um, but if you have photos or any news on any of the super yachts, uh, please uh, please let me know, and we will uh, I'll mention, uh, mention it on there. Thanks a lot, guys. See you next time.